Hello Ganda fans and Gampla Builders! Welcome to our channel! Today we will review the Gundam Shenlong from Gundam Wing TV series. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, and hit the notification bell to be updated on our latest videos. Okay guys, let's start reviewing the kit. Okay guys, Happy New Year! So this is our first review for the year 2023. So guys, this is Gundam Shenlong from Gundam Wing TV series. So this one each is a HG after colony kit. So let's, of course, uh, let's start reviewing for the armaments included so to be honest we just only have a um, few armaments included on this one and I will show it to you so first of all we got the beam glaive which is this one so as we can see guys we got the clear uh, effect green clear effect of this one so you can take this one off and then this is the uh, glade handle so you just pop it in and that's it that's the beam glade so what you can do is if it's not in use you just put it in here on the uh back pack of the Shenlong Gundam so just like that so you can turn it a bit if you want to yep so it's gonna be a little bit angled angle so that's the beam glaive for the armaments so next is We got the shield. We got the Shenlong shield. So I didn't uh, Yeah. So I got the Shenlong shield in here with me. A little bit of panel lining. So this one is the different part of uh, shield so piece of shield so uh what do i mean by that so if you got the gn gn of uh, ultron gn from uh build divers if i'm not mistaken that's build divers so the shield is this part of yellow is completely one whole piece but on Shenlong, this one is a separate part, the cross and the round one. It's a separate part, so it got two parts on it. So, kudos to Bandai for doing it. And then a little bit of panel lining here on the side, and that's it. So, that's the Shenlong shield. And of course, we got the Dragon Fang. So... This is the dragon fang which emits the fire. E, uh, it's just like a flamethrower. So you just take that one and put it like this. And that's it. That's the dragon fang. So that's the uh, armaments uh, included. So of course we don't forget the book and gun. So which is on the part of the head see this small uh, round thing yep that's the one this one that's the uh, Vulcan gun so that's the uh, armaments included so we got some spare parts uh, which is included on our kit so uh, before I forget guys so the effect for the Shenlong Gundam 
Sorry guys, I'm just trying to open this container which contain the uh, other accessories for it. So we got uh, these two, so which is the extension. So I'll just show it to you now before I forgot. So you just pull that one out, undo this one, and put this one in. So this one is just like a keyhole type. So you just plug it in and turn. That's it. And the other one. Just need to connect this one first. Much easier. So plug this one in, same as what we do in the other one. So So that's it for the uh, arm extension just like on the series when Wu Fei uh, used this arm long extension arm to destroy mobile suit or uh, carrier ship so that's how he do it so this uh, that's the extension arms for it so let's just keep moving. I'll just put this one. So there's a hole in there. So this part. You just need to clip it, put it in, that's it. So that's the uh, Shenlong or Dragon Fang or Shenlong Fang, Dragon Fang. Yeah. So that's the extension for it. So of course, so we got the spare. Uh, Accessor not accessories but spare parts in there so we still got the normal part for the legs I mean for the foot connector so for this is where you put the ball joint PC and then we got the hands and then we got uh, three types of hand we got the holding hands So we got the holding hands in here and we got the open hands we got the uh, close fist not close fist but uh, close holding hand yep and then So we got parts from Sandra in here. So this one is for the backpack. And we got the Sandra holding um, for the Sandra weaponry. So we got one day. So we got extra joints and parts for the Sandra as well. Yep. So. Yeah, this one is for the backpack of Sandrak, that small part. So that, so these are all the things. So as you can see guys, it's double, all double because uh, I'm gonna show you later why. So that's the uh, spare parts for the uh, Shenlong. So let's move to articulation. 
Okay guys, so as we move to articulation, so first we got the head rotation, but it's quite hard to rotate because as you can see the the chin is bumping on the side uh, shoulder armor in the together with the uh, helmet on the back. That's why. And let's continue on. So we got full arm full arm rotation. This one rotates. This one can move flex up to this portion. We got two way off uh, flex shown in here. So we got uh, first, uh, I show you first. So first flexion. Yeah, that's the first flexion, yeah. And then the second flexion. Sorry for the medical terms, guys. Uh, I mean, bending. So, that's it for the uh, articulation for the shoulders and arms. Of course, we got the rotation for the hands. And then we got full rotation on the uh, lower torso. And a little bit of ab crunch. Yep. Yeah. As you can see, it can go, it can do a little bit of a, a crunch because of the new gimmick from the new HGAC line of framing. Yep. And and for the let's continue. So for the legs. If I want to move this one sideways, yep. It can do the legendary split, of course. Yeah, just like that. It can do the legendary split. So, movements from the legs goes up to the farthest it can go as long your uh, rear skirt armor is being placed up to the maximum extent and then if that one can go like that as well of course if you place the put the front skirt armor up you can do this one as well extend it to the highest point and then we got two way of uh, flexion as well so from straight this one first first flexion second flexion on the part of the top and then we got wiggles you can wiggle this part side to side you cannot rotate it too much because of the uh, foot armor or the ankle armor so that's it for the uh, articulation so I'm gonna show you something and give my verdict so if you're a collector or fan of wing series i suggest this is the best kit so far that i built from the wing series i mean from the wing boys for the five five gundams of the wing five wing gundams which is the wing sandra heavy arms dead side and shenlong so this is the best gundam that i built so far articulation wild wise and sturdiness see 
It's very sturdy. No falling joints ever. Unlike this kit. It's kind of quite loose. I don't know why. And easy to break off. Some of the parts I already used Tamiya cement. And some of the parts is getting loose already because of old age. So my verdict for this kit. I rate it 10 out of 10. So this is an awesome kit. Great kit. To be honest, so I just show you something before I uh, conclude this one. So if you're thinking to customize this kit, you can. I already did. So what I did is I tried to make it an semi altron without the wing wing parts of it. So what I did. I purchased another kit and guys to be honest uh, it's not that easy to uh, customize this kit because I need to cut some parts for the arms I show you which one it is so as you can see guys this part in here in the back I I cut it so it can goes oops it can goes as well so later on I show you when I put it on the other side so but I just cut the uh, those portion those part so that I can use it on uh, customizing this one I put it wrong way. Ah. So that's uh, that's the thing, and many are saying, "Oh, the the they supposed to put a clear green thing on the shoulder. It's an easy fix, guys." Yes. I really don't like the stickers but I just put all the stickers in on one kit as I planning to paint this paint the other one with uh, metallic green in here using my uh, Ganda markers one and there's only few stickers to be honest so not nothing much and I just use this one see identical in color so I tested in here It's almost identical, so it's gonna be possible. So just give me a sec. I show you what I'm saying about the Ultron one. Okay, guys, so we're back. So this is what I'm uh, telling you a while ago. So this one is uh, both uh, Dragon Fangs. Yeah, Dragon Fang arms. So, I think Bandai will uh, gonna use this one for the same tactics or strategy if they gonna do the uh, Gundam Ultron TV version. So, it's gonna be like this. Yeah. Uh, identical, but yeah. If, uh, if I remember correctly... Ultron doesn't have a shield anymore. I can't remember. So guys, uh, I think, yeah, Ultron got a shield as well on the top on this part. Yeah, so that's it, that's it guys. So that's the quick review for uh, Shenlong Gundam. So this is my customized... Uh, Ultron and this one is Shenlong <laughs> so probably I get another Shenlong kit so thank you so much guys thank you again for watching so as you can see guys uh, we're almost reaching 100 members on our JP Row Studio Facebook page 
So we already got 82 members in there. So if we, we reach uh, 100 members, so we're doing a special giveaway for the lucky members. So we're uh, giving uh, two real grade uh, God Gundam from Gundam G series. Okay, guys. So thank you again for watching. Always stay tuned for uh, stay tuned on our uh, channel for the latest videos and update. And always be safe. COVID still out there. We got a new special variant coming from China. So always wear masks. I'm not being racist or discriminatory discriminative about the Chinese people I'm just saying that we get a new variant from China so always be safe wear mask always sanitize sanitize your hands so see you next time